let's learn the easiest way to fine tune mistral 7 billion parameter model with abhishek thakur's auto train or hugging faces auto train here we're going to use the gpu which is free google collab notebook and we are going to fine tune the mistral 7 billion parameter model first install the required libraries in this case pandas just to look at the training data frame and also auto train advanced once you install it then you have to set up auto train setup to update all the required libraries meanwhile keep your hugging face token handy because you would require that to upload the model to your hugging face model hub go to the hugging face account click access token copy the token if you do not have create one new and then run this particular command that will log in or authenticate this google collab notebook with the hugging face authentication system so that you can upload the fine tuned model on the hugging face model hub so that anybody can use it or even you can use it later on whenever you want at this point the setup is done so we're going to enter the hugging face token all you have to do is put the paste the token here and click login and once you have logged in your noted notebook is successfully authenticated the next thing that you need to do is you need to have a training data set the data set on which you want to do the fine tuning if you do not have a data set there is a data set that josh Pickett, who also helped in putting together this google collab notebook has created so we're going to use josh's data set it's a very simple small data set that's why you know you would not see the model perform really good if you see the data set it has got like couple of columns so the main column for our training purpose is the text column that is where you have got the human and assistant that particular format data so you can just print the text column and then see how does it look and once you print it you can pretty much see you know it starts with hash hash has human and you have the assistant one so if you wait to create your own custom data set for fine tuning this is the format in which you need to get and this auto train library is going to look for particularly that text column inside the train data frame so once we have all these things ready the only change that you need to make here is you need to give the project name whatever project name that you wanted to be represented then the next thing is oh, you want to specify the final model name like what is the model name in which you want to upload this model in the hugging face model up after you specify the model name the one another thing that you might want to pay attention to is the lora target modules by default right now you would not see the lora target modules defined here but the google collab notebook that i'm going to share with you in the youtube description will have it so make sure that you specify the right lora target modules for you to have effective fine tuning now we are just doing it for hobby purpose or demo purpose so it doesn't really matter start this process once you start this process it will first download the model download the tokenizer and we are using the sharded model in this particular case which is like a two two gb chunks of bigger model once the training is done because we have very less amount of data it will not take a lot of time and you can see the training loss has not come down that means the model is not going to do well but still i want to show you the closure of how you can run the inference as well so at this point the model has been completely fine-tuned using lora and then the lora adapter is going to get uploaded to the hugging face model hub as you can see 10 lfs files have got uploaded and you can go to the hugging face model hub and then see the files that you have got inside your repository and right now it is private and you have to just make it public after you make it public anybody can see this and anybody can start using this the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to do inference on this model that means we are going to use the fine-tuned model that we just created and we are going to use that with the mistral ai base model to actually create text generate text so the model name is something that you need to keep in mind but once you have the model name in mind first go to this rep google collab notebook which also i'll link it in the youtube description if you have two sessions running make sure you close the first session then run everything install the transformers library the most recent from hugging faces mod, uh, github repository that is the first thing that you need to do even for this you need a gpu there's something that you need to keep in mind i'm not going to do nvidia smi to show you the gpu but just keep in mind that you need the gpu so click runtime click run all that's one option or you can run cell by cell once you click run all the first thing that it is going to do is install the transformers library after you install the transformers library then we need to install a bunch of libraries that will help us load the adapter starting with pift then we need to have an accelerate for gpu memory management bits and bytes for four bit model loading and safe tensors because the models are safe tensors model and i missed pift pift is going to help us load the adapter into the memory and also merge the model if it is required 
After we install all these libraries, transformers, pep, accelerate, bits and bytes, then let's load the required libraries, import torch from pep, import pep model and transformers to load the model. And at this point, you would download the model, the sharded model once again. Otherwise, if you do not use the sharded model, your Google collab memory will collapse. Then load the adapter. After you load the adapter, you need to load the tokenizer. After you have loaded the tokenizer, now at this point, the model had been loaded into your memory. Just remember once again that we are loading the sharded model, not the original model, the Mistral AI team released. Then all you have to do is give the text, text in that particular prompt format and then run it and then see. As you can see the output at this point for a generator mid journey prompt for a person walks in the rain. It's like it just writes like a poem or essay. It's not an appropriate response. But again, because we did not have enough training data or training loss did not come down. That's why the model is not doing anything great. So all you have to do is go to the prompt, make a change there and then see if still your model is going to give you any benefit. If it does not, then you need to improve the training data, improve the LoRa layers and also increase the training size to get any sort of good benefit. So overall in this video tutorial, you have managed to learn how to fine tune Mistral AI model with QLoRa. So we have quantized the model with four bit quantization. And we have also fine tuned the model, not just that we learned to fine tune the model. We have also learned to upload the fine tuned model on hugging face model up. Then we learned how to do the inference, which means load the quantized also fine tuned LoRa adapter, use it with the base model and also do the prediction for us, like do the text generation for us. I hope this end to end tutorial was helpful to you. Please let me know in the comment section if you need anything else. But thanks to once again, like the Josh Bickett and also Abhishek Thakur for sharing the code and the library that we ultimately ended up using in this video tutorial. See you in another video. Happy prompting.